to my studio. Brian Keeler here. I'm in uh, my studio in Ithaca, New York, the uh, North Star uh, Art Gallery and Studio. And uh, the last time that you saw me, I was working on this painting here on my easel on the Isle of Skye near the town of Portree. And this was about, I don't know, 10 or 15 miles uh, south of the town. And we passed this uh, wonderful uh, cascade and I stopped and uh, it was um, uh, not raining when I started, but it as you will remember from the other video, if you, if you saw the earlier part, uh, I ended up painting in the rain. But at a certain moment, you can come on in closer here now, um, the uh, sun came out and uh, I caught this uh, serendipitous moment here when there was still a mist on the um, mountain behind that was rising from the, the cascade and uh, the sunlight. Uh, <coughs> so I'm <coughs> just uh, finishing up. But I kept with that initial assessment that I that I captured in about uh, a half hour there, and then just uh, kept with that uh, initial uh, impression and uh, uh, feeling that I got there. But right now um, I'm um, putting some uh, details in this grass with this very kind of low chroma, uh, umberish color here, and uh, this grass that I'm painting here now is. Uh, is in the shade, so it uh, wants to be a, a low value uh, color here. And kind of a, an ochre, I'm putting some uh, of this uh, Naples yellow in here to uh, lighten it slightly. And just uh, going over and, uh, and putting some of these uh, pieces of, of grass in here. Some of these blades of, of grass to uh, detail up the, the front. But the reason this grass is showing is that it's uh, mostly uh, light against the uh, dark uh, background here. And I was working on this area right here. It's a, a quite a bit uh, darker value, but of the sort of the same uh, low chroma uh, brownish color. And this was all in shadow here. And what I was doing here um, before the video started was just sort of uh, Going in here, softening some of these edges. It had a, a real nice black, black that added a nice graphic quality to it here. And, uh, but this is all in shadow. Now I'm gonna go over here and pop in uh, some of these uh, lights a little bit more and uh, just to exaggerate them. So uh, come down here to my palette again and I'm going to uh, mix up a, um, a nice uh, warm light here. Well, this is a cadmium yellow uh, medium, and this is cadmium yellow light and, uh, and some white. Uh, so I'm just mixing up here what I think is gonna work. I'm gonna go up here and test it out and see. And that's uh, maybe just a tad too light. I'm gonna put a little raw sienna and a little yellow ochre in there to, to uh, bring the value down. But that's pretty close, what I, what I was looking for, yeah. So I'm just trying to, um, uh, accentuate this uh, this s beautiful light that came through uh, for about <laughs> five minutes while I was painting there. It was coming in from from the left, and uh, sort of uh, bringing out this quality of, of light here. Here's another area right here, and had some cast shadows from this uh, from this bush that was coming across here. Uh, people say that my paintings look like uh, pastel by the way that I'm uh, applying the uh, paint here, sort of in the same way that I would a pastel, kind of broken, choppy strokes. And um, it, they're both, uh, I think of them both as being pigment, and uh, it's just that the oil paint has a, is liquid, or uh, has a, uh, a liquid medium in it. I want to get back here and maybe I'll bring this light over here a little bit more. There's already a, a layer of uh, liquid underneath here and I uh, will do that again at the end to even out the uh, finish so it has a nice satin sheen to it, to the whole uh, painting. And then there was a little bit of light catching uh, down here on this, where the plane leveled out, the ground kind of leveled out here, and then it goes up the steep uh, embankment. 
Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to do is uh, work on the, the mist here a little bit. You can come down to my palette again. <clears throat> I've mixed up this kind of uh, low chroma mauve, and I did it with uh, dioxazine purple and a little bit of uh, cadmium uh, yellow light again. They're opposites on the color wheel, so they kind of uh, uh, mitigate, uh, cancel each other out. Okay, let's go up here to the uh, painting, and that's just about what I wanted here. I'm just going to try it out. Most of it's kind of a neutral gray, but I'm going to add just a little bit of a variety of a temperature here. It's, I guess it's uh, slightly warmer than the other other grays. Uh, I'm just going to move this around so it's kind of dispersed uh, around the uh, the painting. It's all sort of the same value that I'm working with here. Um, uh, just sort of slight nuances of uh, value change. Step back every now and then just to see how it's uh, looking. And I'm gonna go back to, uh, this is the mountain ridge right here and then the mist was coming down, kind of obscuring the, uh, the, the ridge here. And I'm going to uh, do a little bit of cool here now. I'm going to uh, clean off that brush and uh, go back to a cooler gray. That was kind of a I guess it's kind of uh, subjective, but I saw that as uh, slightly warmer. But this is just uh, black and white, and I'm gonna put a little of, uh, of blue in there too. I don't know if you can tell, but I see that as a cooler gray. And uh, about the same value, but a cooler uh, hue. There we go, and it's a slightly lighter value too. So the way that I'm applying the paint now is kind of scumbling it and keeping the uh, the edges uh, soft because it's all um, all mist. It's kind of the excitement of the uh, painting of the uh, scene was all these different things: the sunlight, the cascade, the mountain, a little bit of blue back there and the, uh, the mist, all these kind of elemental things uh, going on. And the last color that I put on there, now it's looking a little uh, pinkish uh, to me, which was uh, what my assessment was, was a warmish color. And uh, the other thing that I'm doing here is that there's kind of a dark ridge here, and so I'm accentuating that uh, figure ground uh, division of a, a light background on the uh, back there. Okay, I think that's about uh, all I wanted to do, this uh, wonderful uh, cascade in the, uh, the Hebrides. The Isle of Skye is one of the Hebrides uh, islands off the northwest coast of Scotland, and uh, these are going to a show in Scranton, Pennsylvania, at the uh, Laura Craig Gallery, and um, you can see them uh, on my website, uh, eventually, and uh, of course at the uh, gallery. So thanks so much for your attention.